Well, summer is unofficially over, but many kids in the diocese went back to school with a little more knowledge about the Catholic faith and a lot more joy. They learned all about Christ's love at Vacation Bible School, or Bible Camp, as it's also referred to. Carolee McGrath went to visit two camps this summer, one at St. Michael's in East Long Meadow and the other at the Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish in Granby, where faith and fun sent campers and counselors home on a Holy Spirit high. In the sticky July heat, kids at St. Michael's in East Long Meadow found relief on a huge inflatable water slide outside the parish center. It was non-stop activity as more than 130 children, ages 4 to 11, moved from one activity to the next at the 13th Vacation Bible Camp held at the church, staffed by 90 volunteers. I feel like what I've seen in the past 13 camps is children who go from camper to counselor and beyond, and all of us end up having an experience with the Holy Spirit. You can watch the Holy Spirit build from Monday right to Thursday, and by Thursday, campers and counselors alike are full of the Spirit, and it is the most beautiful thing. Rose Stella is the Director of Religious Education for St. Michael's. Each year, the prep work for the camp is a huge undertaking. It is a huge amount of work, but we have a lot of volunteers. We have Sue Makarowski and we have Lynn Frappier who head up the design and the artwork. And then we have volunteers that come and work with us for, uh, I think we get this all done in about three weeks, but we literally work day and night. The curriculum of the camp, Maker Fun Factory, was developed by our Sunday visitor. It included Bible stories and lessons on the lives of the saints. Stella says many of the parents tell them this is their favorite camp of the summer, as kids learn about Jesus when they're singing, playing games, making crafts. Even their snacks are related to the lesson of the day. She says campers typically become more involved in parish life. We have absolutely um, seen a you know, a continuity between kids who come to Bible camp and who are involved in the parish, our little angels or in um, CCD classes, and a lot of our volunteers end up joining our youth group, so I, I feel like it is a nice puzzle piece that fits everything together. Camp counselor Katie Roeder is also a member of the youth group. She's a senior at East Long Meadow High School. When the kids come here, their eyes just light up and they learn all these things about God and the world around them. And it's just a wonderful place to come and explore um, these kids and see them open their minds to Christ. Here at Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish in Granby, they've been doing Bible camp for 20 years. And this year, the theme is Created by God, Built for a Purpose. Immaculate Heart of Mary chose the same Bible camp as St. Michael's. The volunteers transformed their parish center with colorful decorations and a life-sized robot to make it look like the Maker Fun Factory. God is always with you. Wow! No matter what you feel. 45 children traveled from Bible stories to crafts to games to snack to music throughout the morning. Father Charles Kuzmeski is the pastor of Immaculate Heart of Mary. The children inspire us. And like the gospel says, uh, Jesus says, bring the children to me. Most of the teenage counselors started off as campers. Yeah, it's cool because you get to be close with the kids and they have a fun time and they get closer to God and make friends and it's cool. I do it because it's fun. It also teaches kids about more about God. The campers also collected items and raised money to help children in the Philippines and Liberia. Catherine Buckley Bronner, the Director of Faith Formation and Pastoral Minister at the parish, says the kids amaze her every year with their knowledge about the faith. The question that I had asked was, um, we were talking about God is always with us, and I was reminding the children that, in fact, that was Jesus' promise to us, that he would always be with us. My question was simple, and where do we on a weekly basis at Mass find Jesus' presence? And one of the children popped up and said, 
Holy Communion. I have to say, as, as I get older, uh, they keep me young. Uh, so through the, the beautiful songs of VBS uh, and the theme, uh, you can't help but get into the rhythm, the beat. Uh, and again, all of it reflects uh, upon God's love and His creation for all of us. And they understand fully at the end of the week when they're completed on Friday, uh, that they truly will understand and know uh, that God created them, loves them, and that God is always with them. They walk not alone, but God walks with them. It's a joyful lesson that all Catholics, young and old, need to be reminded of. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.